and welcome back to Let's Play Breath of Fire 2. Last time, we rescued Nina and Mina from the Jokers, and this time, we're going to be taking them back to their hometown of Windia. Uh, last time, uh, I gained a little, uh, couple levels. Uh, the reason for that is because uh, I wasn't actually doing any grinding. There's a fishing spot right by Corsair here that would allow me to show off a uh, new mechanic to fishing, but I tried for like 20 minutes and couldn't get it to appear, so we're just going to skip that for now. Additionally, inside the Joker's Cavern in Mount Rocco, uh, there was that treasure chest that we couldn't get at the beginning. Uh, I went and grabbed that. That just has a thousand coins in it. So a nice little bit of extra money. All my money's in the bank right now. I will be withdrawing it in the near future because we'll be able to uh, buy some upgrades coming up soon. Now to get to Windia, we just have to go further west from the Tag Woods. We'll be encountering some new enemies along the way. We'll be entering a new enemy biome. Now last time, uh, Nina has officially joined our party, and she's our basically our black mage. Uh, she's got a very high AP pool and learns a lot of spells. Ah, uh, these guys. We won't get to show out with what these uh, dragonflies do, but they have a unique mechanic to them that some enemies have. There'll be a chance to show it off later. Anyways, Nina has a very high number of spells and very good AP. I should have had Jeff Cat attack the other guy. Oh well, I'm not really paying attention. Uh, and she can throw out tons of these spells. They all do pretty good damage. Thunder there, that uh, hits multiple enemies. That's why I said I should have had Jeff attack the other one, but oh well. We're going to be getting to uh, an inn soon anyway. One thing to uh, note about Nina is that she has very high EXP requirements. Uh, we'll see when she level up, level ups next. Levels up next. Ah, I hate it when I mix up my words like that. One thing to show off with Cat is that she learned a spell, Fireball. As you can see, though, it costs 20 AP and she has a piddling 8, so she can't even cast this yet. Fireball is one of the most powerful spells in the game, and she learns it at level 11. It's going to be quite some time before she can use it. Ooh, another new enemy, Snipheads. These guys are just upgraded gong heads. I don't remember if there's anything particularly special about them. They activate my counterattacks, that's good enough. Ah, okay, they can charge up their attacks. And once again, my uh, attempt to just try to take out both enemies in one fell swoop gets a little messed up. Eh, it wouldn't have worked anyway. Yeah, uh, Fireball is not the last of the spells that Cat is going to be learning. We're going to be getting a few more as uh, she levels up some more. Any other new enemies? Ooh, uh, let's see, what are these guys? The W Bear. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be Wild Boar. There's a few places where there's just some pretty overt typos. Alright, try Thunder again. Thunder is pretty cheap, and as you can see, it does about 30 or so damage every time it hits. Against all enemies, that's pretty good at this point. Especially since uh, 30 damage is what Jeff and Cat are roughly hitting for. There we go. Should be able to take these guys up. Oops. No, don't want to attack Jeff himself. Although, that is something uh, to pay attention to. You can attack your own allies, and there's no practical reason to do that, but it's something I'm going to be using for certain reasons later on. Okay, let's go to Windia. It's right here. Now from this side, we actually enter the dungeon of Windia. And it looks like Mina has some kind of connection to the Royal Guard. And, like they said, this is a maze, but there's no monsters in it. It's just a royal dungeon, so no reason to uh, have monsters here, I guess. Let's see, who's this? Why are you sleeping down here? Hmm, black wings? Hmm. You know, Nina, she has uh, different colored wings, and every other Windian we've seen so far has white wings. Could her wings be the black wings that we heard about? But if that's the case, then that would mean Nina is a princess. And Mina is also royalty, going by that logic. Hmm. Curious. 
What do you gotta say? Hmm. Well, I wonder if this is all just a coincidence. Best not to think too hard about these kinds of things. And we're almost out of this dungeon. I forget if there's any treasure in here. I don't think there is. Hmm. So it looks like Nina doesn't actually get to see her sister that often. They seem pretty close regardless, though. Yeah, as you can imagine, since this dungeon doesn't really have any enemies in it, it's a little boring to get through, but it's also quick to get through. Alright, those stairs are where we need to go. Let's head on out. Hmm. So we're in the castle. And it looks like Mina is indeed a princess. But the queen denies any existence of, uh, sister. Hmm. And looks like Nina is denying it as well. Hmm. Looks like we've, uh, stepped into some familial issues. And they're just telling us how to get away from Windia. But... Exiting Windia from the front will actually take us out in front of it, uh, as that stands to reason, and that lets us explore more of the continent, so we'll be sticking around here. You already said that. Yeah. Hey, what's that down there? Hmm. Maybe we'll learn more about this later on. They are pretty cool looking. Well, let's get on out of here. Yeah, who's this guy? A magician, huh? Hmm. Sounds interesting. I'd like to watch. I don't know if I want to volunteer. I just... Okay. Hey. Fine, I'll do it. Well, it, it worked. I don't know how. But where the heck did Jeff go? Hmm. We just met, dude. Well, that went south pretty fast. Yeah, I've I don't know. I think I this all sounds kind of sketchy. Yeah, this guy's sleazy. Alright, looks like uh, his magic trick was a lot simpler than it appeared. Yeah, I don't think... This guy's just a hustler. Let's get out of here. Well, at least Cat didn't kill the guy, I guess. Yeah, I'll just get out of here. Sure, you're forgiven. Just leave us alone. Yeah, oh, man. <laughs> don't tell me. Oh, this, don't tell me he's gonna tag along.
Oh, jeez. I, I don't know if I want this guy bumming around with us. And we get our fourth party member, unfortunately, Sten. Well, actually, in order of guys we've gotten, he's actually the sixth party member, but he's the fourth member in our active party. Anyways, let's switch him around with Nina. Let's see, order. Get Sten. Actually, you know what? I'll put him in the second position, and we'll go into Scramble Formation. Scramble Formation, I mentioned this in an earlier video, it uh, gives the two lead characters a 20% bonus to their damage, but also causes them to take 20% more. The reason I'm putting Sten uh, in the second position is because he has a much better equipment pool than Cat. Uh, let's just get a good look at his stats. As you can see, Sten is pretty fast. He's got a vigor of 40. For comparison, Jeff only has 35. And while it's a bit lower than Cat's, uh, Sten still has the second highest vigor stat in the game, so he's, uh, he's decently fast. He's not very strong at the moment, though, but that's just because he has pretty poor equipment to start with. Uh, Sten actually has one of the best equipment draws in the game. Uh, he's only slightly behind Jeff in terms of the equipment he can use. The big problem with Sten is that his basic stats are pretty low. Uh, he's kind of a jack-of-all-trades character, but he doesn't really stand out in any particular area aside from Vigor, so I don't find him to be too good. I, I consider him to be just above the two worst characters in the game. He can be useful later on. He especially surges in usefulness in certain points of the game where you can get really good equipment for him. But for most of the game, he's kind of lackluster. But for now, uh, we can afford to ta have him tag along and see if we can't get some equipment going for him. Let's buy a long sword. Revit Knuckle. Uh, knuckles are weapons for Rand. Actually, now that we've got that long sword. Sten specializes in using daggers, which, while Jeff can use some of those, his main thing is swords, so we'll pass the silver dagger down to Sten, and as you can see, good uh, damage boost for him there. Also get him some new equipment, or armor, rather. Uh, the silver dagger, you actually want to hold on to that, basically for the entire game, if you plan on using Sten more than just a couple times. The reason for that is that the... Silver Dagger is his only way to deal holy damage. He's the one of the few characters who can use holy damage just because he has one weapon that happens to have it as a quality. Alright, let's see. There's a helmet. There's a shield. Buy a bronze shield for Sten. I believe I already have one. Actually, hold on. I should be using the switch function more often. Let's see. Uh, No, it's the steel armor. Okay, uh, we'll just get all this sorted out. Trying to figure out what's the best equipment to buy. Let's see. We can get two of those chain... Or three of those chain mails, actually. Yeah, may as well, like, uh, get everyone outfitted with it who can have it. Okay. Let's get a holy robe for Nina. Alright. Let's see. And that's... Looks like that's the extent of what I can get. I can get a glass RG for somebody. Who would benefit the most from it? Uh, I'll actually give it to Sten for the time being. I'm actually going to be needing to do some grinding in the future, because all our new characters, uh, Sten and Nina, so just two of them, but they're both pretty weak at the moment, and we've got a very tough boss coming up. So I'm actually going to be stopping to grind in a little bit, but not at the moment. We can still make a little bit of progress before we stop to do that. Hmm, that's a fancy name. Alright, let's get on our way. Hey, the carnival's here. The carnival is exactly the same as it was when it was in front of hometown, so don't bother going in if you're expecting anything new. But, now we've got a whole new party lined up. So let's, uh, let Jeff attack him, Sten attack him. Can't go with that. These guys, uh, the, uh, I think it was, yeah, Komodos, they're weak to thunder. Uh, they're a part of the aquatic enemy type, so if you hit them with thunder, it'll deal twice as much damage as it usually usually does. As you can see, they also use attack up on themselves. This means that they can get pretty hard if they can hit pretty hard if you don't take them out in the first turn. Probably the biggest uh, disadvantage with Nina is that for a mage character, she's actually very very slow. She's not the slowest character in the game, but she's basically just above the characters in the game who are the slowest. 
So it's a bit of a problem for her for most of the game. We will have options of getting her faster later on, though. Hmm, looks like these guys also have defense up. I've only ever seen them use attack up. I think they... M Actually, I think I might have seen them use agility up before, but agility up in this game is bugged and it doesn't do anything. Not that it would be a terrible, terribly useful status effect anyways, because uh, the way status buffs work, uh, if a character already has a low speed stat, it won't really help them that much if you buff it with agility up, assuming it worked properly. Let's see, Deathpeeds. I know these guys can do something pretty nasty, but I forget what it was. I think they might be able to drain HP or MP, or AP rather. Usually I just take them out before they get the chance, though. Yeah, as you can see, Stan is pretty weak at the moment. He will get stronger later on, but because of his rather balanced stat growth, uh, he tends to underperform in areas where he doesn't have really good equipment available. The only real reason I've got him in position 2 is once he gets a level, he's going to have more uh, HP to work with than Cat will. He, on average, he gets more HP than Cat does. I did actually remember to uh, repurchase some supplies off screen. Got a bunch of antidotes and some herbs. Or use one of those herbs on Sten. Feel free to use herbs whenever the chance presents itself. They are very cheap. I mean, just to uh, put it in perspective, you can get 100 herbs for 800 gold, and that's 4,000 HP of healing there for almost no gold in perspective. Hmm. So this looks like a shack for hunters here. Oopa Roopas, huh? And these guys all look the same. Uh, no, I don't. Cliffs against the ocean, huh? Don't think we have any way to get there. Let's see, owl fruits? Hmm. Oh, that's not creepy. What do you got in here? Oh, sweet. Help BLs, uh, I don't know what the BL stands for, I've always called them Help Bloods. They restore HP by 100, they're the upgrade to herbs, uh, you've seen them in the shops, they cost 50 gold. Uh, they, there will come a point in the game where we can buy those in bulk without breaking our bank too much, but at this point, we're just gonna stick to herbs. Alright, more death peeds. Should probably take these guys out one at a time. I forget if they're weak to any particular element. Not every enemy in this game actually has a classification. You know, it's probably this poison breath thing that I was remembering was the nasty thing they can do. Because this is definitely annoying. But not every game in the... Or not every enemy in the game has a classification that makes them weak to a certain element. There are some enemies who are just completely unclassified and aren't weak to anything. But there are some general rules of thumb to follow. Uh, if an enemy looks like it has anything to do with ice, or if it's undead, it's weak to fire. If an enemy's flying, it's weak to wind. Basically, any enemy that has a flying sprite is vulnerable to wind magic. I better take care of those. Actually, we're almost to the town. I can just go to the inn. And we are in the town of Capitan. Capitan. Uh, I don't know. I'll vary up how I want to uh, pronounce that. The children are in the well. Ah, and it looks like the village people who are looking for them haven't returned either. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like uh, we better uh, resolve the situation here. I mean, after all, uh, if the townspeople can't operate the ferry for us, we can't get very far from here, as there is a river over the ways that we can't actually cross without a boat. But, inside the well is actually a very, very difficult boss, and I'm going to want to uh, gain some levels for my characters and possibly go back to Windia to buy some new equipment. 
So we'll head into the inn and rest up. You can take all the time you want in rescuing the, those people. They'll still be there regardless of how many days you take to get there. Don't you just love things like that? But, yeah, we'll call it a video here, so I hope you enjoyed watching, and when we come back, I'll have gained a few levels and we'll be heading into the well. I hope you enjoyed watching, and please, have a nice day.